Is here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Today we are in we're in Plano, Texas today, um, but I'm actually going to showcase or I'm going to show you guys how I restore headlights. I'm working on a uh, Lexus, um, and we are going to be restoring the headlights. But first, let me show you really quick how these headlights look and how we're going to attack them all right and this is how they look at the moment guys and hopefully the camera can pick up nicely on how they look and this is how we are going to be leaving them so stick around and let me get all set up guys and we'll get started with this all right so step number one is going to be 600 uh for the sandpaper and as you guys can see you see that uh all the oxidation and everything that's in this headlight is coming down so I do this twice on the headlights every time all right before I jump to the next um, grade or the next number up this is pretty much the initial look if you've never done headlights guys just you know don't freak out uh, if you saw a lot of the yellowing that's a lot of the oxidation from the um, from the headlight right so that's what we're doing right now it, we are removing all the um all the dullness all the fadeness all the oxidation this headlight has and we're going to restore it to that brand uh to that clear uh so we started with 600 i usually start for this one i i had to start a little bit aggressive because it looked pretty bad um but <clears throat> play obviously go get you a headlight play with different numbers this way you get a little bit of the knowledge on what you can use or what you know if they're not this bad you know you don't need to start so low um, but the next number we're going to go up to is 800 i ordered these off amazon i think i paid like 12 bucks for this little kit of different sandpaper numbers um, but we're going to go to 800 and uh we're going to keep going all right y'all so we are um we've already done pretty much all the extensive um all the extensive process to remove all the oxidation uh now what we're going to be doing is pretty much lifting back everything from the headlights um so now we're to the phase of pretty much finishing the sanding uh, we're going to polish and then we're going to um, process it with a uh, we're going to put a ceramic coating on there um, just to finish it off but quick tip uh, as you're uh, sanding, you should be getting clear and clear um, like a finish. Uh, at first, you saw a lot of that browning and everything. So as you go up in numbers, all you're doing is you're just pretty much going over the previous number and just um, finishing it out nicely, smoothly, pretty much removing all the areas that the previous sanding left. Um, the, t the outcome is going to be a clear, like a clear headlight. And that's what is next up. Uh, we were at 2000. I don't have 2500, unfortunately, but we're going to jump into 3000 and it should be okay. Um, if you do your previous process correctly, evening out everything, your 3000, if you don't do 25, you'll be all right. Um, but we're going to jump into the 3000 and we're almost to the finish line.
All right, y'all. So before I turn on the generator, this is the final look on the headlight, guys. Pretty much everything is sanded out evenly. And now it's pretty much the, the, the best part of all is obviously we're going to start polishing this out and restoring the the headlight um and that's truly i think my favorite part is when i start polishing this out uh, so i'm gonna turn everything on and we're gonna and step number one is gonna be coach kemi h9 with a rupes course pad uh and literally just apply heavily and then just uh have fun with it you know the uh, object of this is pretty much to clean out all the uh headlight and and bring out that gloss And for the last step is going to be Coach Kemi F6 with a Rupes uh, pad. And pretty much this process is just going to clean up the heavy cut and is truly going to bring the gloss out. Uh, followed by um, Avalon King, I applied two times of the ceramic coating to just ensure proper um, curing and proper application. it is hot out here um but anyway sorry guys i hope today's video kind of uh, showed you guys a little bit on how i restore headlights i think the only restoration video i've done in the past really beginning of my youtube channel and i literally just had a one headlight and i kind of showcased it like that this time i'm gonna really show you guys um how i do it right and you can take or leave the steps that we did today like i said you don't always have to start at a, a an aggressive um sandpaper you can usually start maybe like in 1500 up to 3000 and you'll be all right um, but just given the scenario that these lights were in i had to really get in there uh and move a lot of this rust and oxidation that it had um you, it was just it, it needed it right um so that's truly uh the main thing about a headlight restoration is you're restoring the look of the headlight to hopefully a a, a new finish and that is truly what we achieve um the cost on this today guys uh it's 150 for the uh, for both headlights sanding them down polishing them out and then i usually just apply a coating there uh, just to help it um right some others will spray a clear to it um and some of you guys may say well it's gonna get oxidized or it's gonna uh, the warranty i give customers is always if at any given time your headlights start to deteriorate or they're looking dull just let me know and i'll gladly take care of them uh, it doesn't take a lot uh to after this process we would just probably need to just give them a quick polish and that's it right um, but at the end of the day guys i hope this video kind of showcased uh to you guys a little bit on how i do it i do it out in the outdoors as always um, and i highly recommend you get yourselves like um like some blocks uh you can get them from like o'reilly's or anywhere really and this truly helps you maintain a even look or an even sanding because if you do it with your hands or your fingers you're gonna have like different patterns but Anyways, I hope you guys have a blessed day. As always, we'll see you guys next time.